हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ प्रॉब्लम टू फाइंड आउट प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी ऑफ अ फ्लूड यर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन कैलक्युलेट द प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड हैविंग हाइट 0.3 मीटर फॉर नंबर वन वाटर सेकेंड ऑयल ऑफ स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी 0.8 mercury of specific gravity 13.6 take density of water as 1000 kg per meter cube now this is the question we have where we have to calculate the pressure intensity for three different fluids so whatever is given here i'll write that in the form of data now calculate the pressure intensity pressure intensity i'll denote it by letter p that we have to calculate of fluid having height of 0.3 meter the height of the fluid is mentioned it is 0.3 meters we have to find out pressure intensity for water oil whose specific gravity is 0.8 so i'll write down specific gravity is denoted by letter s for oil specific gravity is 0.8 and mercury is of specific gravity 13.6 take density of water as 1000 kg per meter cube so the density is denoted by rho for water i'll denote it here it is 1000 kg per meter cube now this height i can show here it is like an example that we are having a column which is filled with fluid and this column is having a height of 0.3 meter now we have to find out how much pressure will be exerted by this fluid at the bottom end because since the height is 0.3 meter this height is given from the free surface of the fluid and each time the fluid will change first it will be water then oil and then mercury so let us try to get the solution for this problem solution since pressure intensity for water is given by the formula of pressure intensity it is p is equal to rho g into h now this pressure intensity formula it has come from hydrostatic law therefore i'll say here p is equal to since we are finding the pressure intensity for the first fluid that is water so density of water is given as 1000 g is 9.81 and the height of the column is 0.3 so from this if i calculate i'll get the answer of pressure intensity and my first answer is it is 2943 newton per meter square that's my first answer now similarly i'll calculate the pressure intensity for oil but for that since the specific gravity of oil is given so by using the specific gravity of oil i will first calculate the density of oil so since density of oil that is denoted by rho it will be equal to the specific gravity of oil into the density of water this is the general formula if we want to calculate density of any other fluid other than water because water we are taking as the standard fluid 
So if you want to calculate any other density, we should know the specific gravity of that fluid. So therefore density of oil will be equal to specific gravity is 0 0.8 given into density of water is 1000. So from this I will get it as 800 kg per meter cube. This is the density of oil. Now after this I will say that therefore pressure intensity of oil P will be equal to again rho g into h the formula will remain same so therefore P is equal to the density of oil we have calculated it is 800 g is 9.81 h 0 0.3 so from this I will get my answer of pressure intensity that comes out to be 2354.4 Newton per meter square this is our second answer now the third fluid is mercury whose specific gravity is given so again I'll calculate the density of mercury since density of mercury is equal to specific gravity of mercury into density of water so therefore the density of mercury will be equal to specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 into density of water is 1000 so here density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube. So again I will calculate pressure intensity for mercury. So since pressure intensity for mercury it will be given by the formula again P is equal to rho g into h this formula has come from hydrostatic law so therefore p is equal to density is 13600 into g is 9.81 h is 0 0.3 so from this the pressure intensity answer that comes out to be 40.025 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square our third answer so now if I compare the pressure intensity I'll write my final answer as the final answer pressure intensity exerted by water that was 2943 Newton per meter square next pressure intensity exerted by oil that was 2354.4 newton per meter square and pressure intensity exerted by mercury that answer is 40.025 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so if we compare all the answers the pressure exerted by mercury is most it means mercury being heavier the pressure intensity of mercury is more and then comes the pressure intensity for water and at last the lighter fluid is oil out of the three so i hope in this video we have understood the pressure intensity calculations